Okay, so it's constructed 90% confidence interval for mu1 minus mu2. So we're trying to estimate the population difference or population mean difference with the sample statistic for mean cholesterol content for a hamburger from two fast food chains and confidence interval construction formula below. As you know, we're not going to use this formula. But let's see what we're we doing. So mu1 minus mu2. We are subtracting the means here. The, the first question is, do we know um, population stable deviation? Okay, let's take a look right here. Assume the populations are normally approximately normal with unequal variance. When they tell you assume they're not the same, that means they don't know what they are. We don't know what population variances are. Okay, whenever you don't know population standard deviation or population variance, you have to go to with, with T procedure, okay? Maybe that's why they're talking about this degrees of freedom, okay? So I want you to go to stat crunch and open up stat and T stat and do two sample, okay? After that, go to summary because we are given summary here. Let me show you one more time what I just did. Stat, T stat, two sample with summary. Okay, and let's enter everything here. Um, it says the first sample, hard to see, is 147. The sample mean is 147, standard deviation. And this is sample standard deviation, right? With the little s, not with the sigma. 14 is the sample size. I'm um, we'll go over here and it says sample mean is 77. They're very different. I think it is statistically significant. But let's see. We'll see. All right. Do we click on pool variance? No, not this time because it says assume populations are uh, are with unequal variance. If we assume that they are equal, then we pull variance. If they are unequal, we don't pull variance. And that's all. Um, we click on confidence interval and we do want 90% confidence interval. Click on compute and here we have it. So how do they want us to round it? Nearest integer. So I'm going to go ahead and do 68 to 72. 68 to 72. And that's how you can construct a confidence interval to capture population um, average differences.